Lovers of Freedom, Pastor Van 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 once again. Greetings, greetings everyone. Once again, I'm bringing to us our beloved Aloy Jimako. Aloy Jimako proves once again why he had always been our darling lawyer in his rendition or in his um, response to this zoo media once again you will understand why a lawyer jimako is one of the best and uh, we are pleased to have him now back back on track back in the spirits back and formidable and i'm grateful i'm honestly grateful and while these events are unfolding and Aloy Jimako is displaying his talent as the best, Biafrans are getting ready for Biafra declaration. Remember, our PM said on the 2nd of December. <laughs> Immediately he made that statement. On the 2nd of December, Biafra will be declared. The zoo went gaga. <laughs> they went gaga. And they declared our PM wanted. And it, it impressed me so much the way the declaration came, or the decla declaration of wanted of, of being wanted came, and the video that was made by TVC. My goodness me. That video. In fact, it's better than any video any one of us would even make to project our Prime Minister. You need to watch that video as I'm going to be bringing it together with uh, our beloved uh, extraordinary alloy, Ejimako, our own advocate. I am so excited with the events that are unfolding and uh, these are the best times for Biafra. And everything happening is a win-win. Win-win. <laughs> no, our man Simon said that Nea Badogo Nigeria no no. Nea Badogo Abadogo Ndi Sina Bia Fraga Ha Bia. Nea Badogo Ha No No. Na Ako Ha Wo Wo. Wo To Wo To. Hey, okay. Anyway, without wasting for that time because the videos I'm bringing about a little bit long so just enjoy it and remember to subscribe to the channels if you are yet to and make sure you share these videos and let them go viral i remember rafael chamaka jerry aka pastor fam 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 eh, bon. save determination save determination is not regarded as a crime in any nation of the world including nigeria under article 20 of Nigerian law, that's the African Charter, Article 20. Now, now, Kenya has a companion law. United Nations has a companion law. So when you take anybody to any court in any country in the world, and you tell that court, I want him in my country because he wants Biafra, they will tell you to go to hell. You a kidnapper extraordinary, whether you are government or not. You a rogue. You should not try anybody in court for wanting to not to belong, for wanting a separate nation. That's how Nigeria was founded, for God's sake, in 1960. Is it not? It's same determination. That was how Midwest region was created in 1963. Is it not? That's how Nigeria lost Southern Cameroons. To Cameroon, is it not? Yes. Is, is that called referendum or plebiscite? And that's how Nigeria gained Adamawa, the former Sadona province of Cameroon, into northern Nigeria. So why should that of Biafra be different? It's only a crime in Nigeria. IPOB is only a terrorist organization in Nigeria, but not a terrorist organization all over the world. Yes, that needs to tell you folks something. That is why Nigeria dodged and went by night ambushed Mazin Namdekano and kidnapped him. We cannot take a government to criminal court and jail a government, but we can call a government to answer to the civil courts of this country. There are courts in this country, so Nigerian government must answer to this court. Like I argued before the court, 
And as part of effort to restore peace in the country, the military has declared one of the leaders of the proscribed indigenous people of uh, Biafra, Simon Epa, wanted. According to a statement by the director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, Mr. Epa, and other insurgents and criminals are wanted for undermining the security of the country. Mr. Epa, who is uh, number 78 on the list, has been accused of secessionist agitations under IPAB. Meanwhile, military authorities also declared 96 other persons wanted alongside Simon de Pa, uh, uh, alongside him as efforts continue to track down those responsible for the murder of the military personnel who were on a peace mission in Okwama community, Delta State. A banner of wanted suspected terrorists and their cohort have been released and the military says the banners will be deployed in strategic areas across the country for ease of recognition and arrest of uh, the wanted persons. Hello and welcome to TVC News at 7. And we're staying with security concerns across the country where the military has declared at one of the leaders of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Simon Ekba, wanted. According to a statement by the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, Mr. Ekba and other insurgents and criminals are wanted for undermining the security of the country. Mr. Ekba, who is number 78 on the list, has been accused of secessionist agitations under IPOB. Military authorities also declared 96 other persons wanted alongside Simon Ekba as efforts continue to track down those responsible for the murder of the military personnel who were on a peace mission in Okwama community of Delta State. A banner wanted uh, suspected terrorists and their cohorts have been released, and the military says the banners would be deployed in strategic areas across the country for ease of recognition and the arrest of wanted persons. Well, right now I have joining me to discuss this, a retired police chief, DSP Eze Harrison. Good to have you on the news at this time. So now the military has declared lots of people wanted, including the leader of the, well, one of the leaders of proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Simon Ekwa. But talk to us about what you make of this, why this... Uh, move, you know, is it too late or is it too soon with the numbers being put out there by the military? What do you make of this? Um, the, the claim is that sometimes the way we approach some issues, the military is are said to be going on a peace mission. If it is a local and a panel security thing. It would have been the police that should have been sent on such peace mission. It is when it appears to be overwhelming the police uh, team, that is when the military could join the mediate. All right? Now, in a total security team, before the military would be asked to go for such a peacekeeping, it means it has defied the operations of the police. But in this case, I don't know why the military should get involved in a squabble between two neighboring communities who are said to be hard. Land issues. All right? So to me, it is improper, it is not normal for the army to get involved too soon in such a community district over land. Now, from other pillars, we have an understanding that there are so many other factors that surround the activities of the military in that community. I don't think that the military are the first that should have been sent on a peace mission in that community because the agency that is served with the informal security of the country has not weighed into the matter. So on that note, it is very wrong for the military to go for such a mission in the first place because it is an internal security thing. If there are no other underlying factors, the military in the first place, the army, 
are not supposed to get involved at this early stage because the police who are shadowed with that responsibility has not been invited into it. And if the army so think to get involved, there are methodologies, there are systems, there are tactical approach to some of these things. Okay, the so foreign communities have leaders. Have okay. the leaders been called to see what is actually the problem? But such was not done. And on the side of the uh, iPod, Simon Edna and all of that, well, the young man is in Finland making noise. Uh, it should be up to the Nigerian government to actually look into what is the problem in the southeastern Nigeria. And also, the presence of the federal government is not felt in the southeastern Nigeria. And these are some of the things that is leading to the agitations and so on and so forth. So that is what I could make of all this, because every other thing are sensitive security issues that we would not want to double into this hour. Right. With that being said, what other approach would you propose that this situation or this, situ this situation rather should be handled? You know, we just understand that the military has declared 96 persons wanted in connection to terrorist activities in the country. Simon Nekpa has been included. But what would you make, or what are your thoughts generally on how it's been put out there, and what do you think should be the, a strategic approach to address some of the concerns you also highlighted? Now, look at this. Now, Simon Nekpa, to me, is not a terrorist. He is an educator until we begin to put a difference between those who are agitating for something and those who are actually terrorists. Now, we know those that are terrorist group leaders in the country, and nothing positive has been done to quell the activities of those that are known to be terrorists, and so on and so forth. I don't see someone Edna as a terrorist. I see him as an agitator. I see Nandekana as an agitator, and several other... Uh, ethnic groups that are agitating for one thing or the other, which to me, the federal government should have sit back, have a round table talk, and discuss with these people to find out what are their grievances, why are they agitating and what are they agitating for. These and more other ways could be adopted mm. so that we'll be able to live in harmony as one nation. So, right. uh, including Samuel Edna in the list of those 96 or thereabout terrorists that have been listed by the government, I don't see, I don't see that as, uh, I don't see him being a part of that terrorist group. He's an agitator. He is asking for something. The right. federal government should look into what is the reason why he is asking for what he is asking for. And when that is looked into, then it could be resolved. We could have a roundtable discussion and all those issues will be resolved. I right, don't think that's... there is anybody who wants to break away from Nigeria, but I think they're asking that there should be more presence of the federal government activities and agencies in the other neglected. All right. Well, that's where we have to leave it for now. Thank you so much, DS.